Hello and welcome to Project Tracker. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, I'm gonna show you how to get use and modify a project tracking template. Let's start with the first exercise, exercise one. To get the template, open up Excel and go to File, New. In the search field, type Agile Gantt. We click the template and then select Create. And just like that, we have this workbook now in our Excel. The first worksheet is called About and you can read this to get some more information. Now let's figure out how to use this workbook and let's go to the next exercise, exercise two. Now the first thing I wanna do is just kind of scroll out so we can see the whole template. And what we can see is that we get a nice visual representation of the status of this entire project. Now the nice thing about this template is that we can scroll our view window. In other words, currently we're looking at about two months, January and February, but as time passes, we can scroll. So row eight is actually a scroll bar and we can click over here and you'll notice we're scrolling this window to the right. Similarly, we can scroll on this side and now we're scrolling to the left. If we don't like using the scroll bar, no problem, we can use this scrolling increment cell instead. And I'll zoom in here in a second, but for now, I can type zero. If I wanna scroll it to the right 30 days, I can do 30. If I wanna scroll it to the right 60 days, I can do 60. And let's put this back to zero. And those are a couple ways we can adjust the time period that we're viewing. Now let's scroll in and look at some of the details. Basically we would go through and we would update all of these columns for our project. So we would type in the description and then let's look at this category column. If we set it to goal, we're going to see this type of icon. We can also change it to milestone and it's going to change it to this yellow flag icon. We can also set it to on track. It's going to go with green. We can say this is a low risk and that'll update the formatting accordingly. We can set it to medium risk and that is updated and we can set it to high risk and that is updated. And in a little bit, I'll show you how to update these colors. Let's go back and set this to goal. We can also type in who this task is assigned to. Now this progress column allows us to manually type in the progress and the bar will update accordingly. For example, let's change this to 50, 75 and 100 and you get the idea. I'll set this back to 25%. Here's where we can type in the start date. Maybe this doesn't start till January 5th. That's fine. And we can also set the number of days. And we could go through row by row making these type of updates. Now, what if we wanted to update the colors or add new rows? Well, that takes us to the next exercise. In addition to these short videos, I also offer formal training. It's built for users at all skill levels. Learn more by using the link in the description. You'll be getting your work done faster than ever. Exercise three. Let me zoom back out just for a second. Now, all of this formatting in this region is defined by conditional formatting. So if we wanna make any changes, we go to conditional formatting, manage rules. Here I'm gonna select this worksheet and then we can scroll down and update things as desired. For example, data bar, we can click that, edit rule, and then we can pick any color or formatting we'd like. Let me cancel that. If we wanted to change the icons, edit rule, and we can pick from a variety of different icons. Let me cancel that. For low risk, if we wanted to change that color, we can edit rule, format, and pick any other color we'd like. Let me cancel that. For high risk, once again, we just pick that, edit rule, click format, and make any changes that we'd like. And if we changed any of those colors, we'd want to update this legend as well. Let me zoom back in for a second. All right, what about adding rows? Let's go ahead and scroll down. This is the end of the template, and there's a note. To add more data, insert new rows above this one. So what we would do is we'd select an entire row and insert. And that way, this new row inherits all the formulas and formatting from the row above. So everything continues to work as expected for any new rows. Cool. So that's how we can get, use, and modify our project tracking template. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user. If you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 